kind attention the chief guest is on the way we request you all to wait in silence as they enter we request you to rise please rise and welcome our reverend guest of the evening with a thunderous applause on behalf of the Please be seated. And a warm welcome to you, sir. We invite the sports captain, Jashlin, and the house captain, Lena Fatima Nawaz, to present the token of welcome to Mr. Saiz. Present the token of welcome to Dr. Gajesh Thariwal, Director of Junior Directors, Indian Schools of Oman. We 
it's not accepting as a panelist. Ma'am, I will ask him. Uh, ma The science of today is the technology for tomorrow. Good morning, one and all. Let me take you all through the listings of what to expect in today's session. It is the second session for this morning of the Mega Career Guidance event, Avenue 2022, hashtag discover you, hosted by Indian School Bausha under the aegis of Board of Directors, Indian Schools in Oman. The welcome address will be followed by a brief introduction and a video on our eminent speaker. Then we shall invite the esteemed speaker for his presentation. After the presentation, we shall request our guest speaker to answer a few questions raised by the attendees in the Q&A segment. The continuing session will be introduced for the university. The detailing of the courses available and the process of admission will be explained in detail. We shall conclude the session with a word of thanks. As John Kenneth Galbraith truly said, technology means the systematic application of scientific or other organized knowledge to practical tasks. Good morning, distinguished guests. 
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Avenir 2022, hashtag discover you, a global career guidance program launched by Indian School Bausha under the aegis of the Board of Directors of Indian Schools in Oman. On behalf of Indian School Bausha, I, Richa of Class and I, Aisha of Class 8, take the proud privilege of expressing a profound gratitude to His Majesty Sultan Haitham bin Tariq Al Said for the altruistic and noble benevolence showered on the Indian diaspora in the Sultanate of Oman. May the Almighty shower His choicest blessings on His Majesty and may this nation experience peace and everlasting prosperity. We are happy to welcome all the students, parents, and teachers for being a part of Avenir 2022, hashtag discover you. Thank you one and all for your presence here this morning. It is with sheer joy and great pride that I take the task of introducing our speaker today, Dr. Syed Abrar Bashir Ahmed. Dr. Syed Abrar, is a distinguished dental clinician who is an expert in teaching clinical dentistry for the last two decades in one of the top most dental institutes. He is a postgraduate teacher and a PhD guide also. He represents dentistry in several apical academic and administrative bodies for dental academics and services. He has lectured and given hands-on training to dental professionals in more than 100 scientific needs. He has more than 30 published scientific research papers to his credit. He has been a meritorious sports person and recipient of several awards in his field. His field of interest and expertise are microscopic, laser, CAD, CAM, and root canal dentistry. We would like to request the audience to kindly post your queries in the chat box. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please join me and listen to our speaker, Dr. Syed Abrar, and his topic, Choosing a Career Path, What Dentistry Has to Offer. The platform is all yours, sir. Very good morning to all of you. Good morning. I hope I'm audible to everyone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir you're audible. Most sincere apologies for the delay in joining. There is some technical glitch at my end. 
So I have sent my uh, PowerPoint to the organizers. So I kindly request them to bring it on the screen. This is Dr. Abhar Sayyar. I am head of the Department of Consultant Dentistry and Endodontics in Common Dental College and Hospital, Mumbai. And I have uh, an experience of approximately 20 years in dental teaching clinical dentistry faculty on administrative and academic platforms. So it was a pleasure talking to the school kids from Oman. And it is an honor to talk to all of you. Can we have the presentation on the screen? So two minutes, sir. We are receiving all Excuse me, sir. Say so you're muted. Can you uh, kindly unmute, sir? Yeah, thank you. Sorry. My topic of the discussion today is choosing a career path, what dentistry has to offer. That makes two parts of my presentation here choosing a career path and what dentistry has to offer. Yeah, this is the slide. Yes. These are my designations, what I do. Yeah. So uh, I being a teacher as well as a parent of children between the age group that I have audience today of 12 to 16 years of age. My, I have two kids around 13 and 15 years of age. So which career will you choose is the most common question whosoever comes across to you whoever elderly comes across to you in your life always asks you a question and i'm pretty sure most of you tend to go blank when you're asked this question and you end up saying i'm just a kid i really don't know about it many a times this may cause a lot of stress in many kids sometimes even leads to anxiety they are repeatedly tortured what are you going to be what are you going to be because they have not been out in the world they have not explored various careers they don't know how actually the world works they are in a beautiful work of their, their own world of their childhood so let them enjoy and sail through it very naturally so depression and anxiety can be a case in extremes and believe me kids it's very normal to be stressed out when whenever anybody asks you what you're going to be very few kids are determined right from the childhood or have natural inclination. Most of you will subsequently fall into circumstances and make a room for yourself. Next slide, please. Next. So I said, this stress and anxiety, believe me, it's normal, except for those who really do not want to or need to do anything. Next. Nobody is born with a career written on the forehead. Okay. Next. Remember, everybody is a natural. Okay. Because you're born with a purpose here. Everybody is born with a purpose. Everybody is born with set of skills. Everybody uh, is has a strong points of personality, which this entire ecosystem, this universe, this world will use. You will contribute and people will exploit and be benefited out of it along with your own benefit. 
so there's nothing to worry about is just chill and relax and take a few moments to decide what will give you pleasure in your life what will give you happiness and what is your definition of success in life next now which is the best time to make a decision about your career the answer is any time if you are a 10 years old today and you can think of yourself or you can 12 years old today 15 years old today 18 years old today 30 years old today 40 years old today you can take any decision about your own career because it's your own career do not make haste do not be anxious don't see the others if they are decided about it do not see other people's success if at all they have already achieved it you must have planned for some that will come to you after a few years next Am I audible? Mr. Sir, actually some audio issues are there. We are not able to hear you properly. You are lagging. Hello. Sir, can you hear us? Excuse me, sir. Uh, kindly unmute. You are muted. Mute your yeah, All the kids, look at the photo here. You need to have a vision. Currently, if you are not decided, there's no problem. But you need to know yourself, your likings and dislikes. Okay. You need to set goals to achieve what you have envisioned, and. you need to plan your education accordingly now what simultaneously should be looked for parallelly is along with your in vision have you envisioned something that you are really interested in or it just a copy who has achieved success in social terms secondly values play a very important role f side are the points that you need to do activities for the kids and parents to do together so that i don't land you up into complexities of dental career because you are too young at this age to understand the complexities of a particular field i can't talk to you about rocket engineering and civil engineering at the same time at this age so kindly allow me to suggest you nine different activities which you can play together along with your parents so that you explore yourselves and your parent explore you you understand your parents better and your parents understand your interest and you people in the family can work together to carve out to chisel out to forge out a good career for you next slide please the first activity that i want to suggest to some start okay and they should put a timeline and record ups and downs in their careers their first paid work someone whose job or life fascinated them to join their particular field when they started how they started which job was offered to them first or which business opportunity they broke for the first time Thank you.
and what gave them good luck kids should ask the parents about second is second please pull up the next slide yes exploring the developing exploring and developing career awareness through movie watching see watch a non fiction movie together in the family all your kids regularly watch movies watch any movies and discuss different characters in the movie different work works different life roles and think about implications has the movie changed any of your ideas about careers did it cast certain occupation in a positive light and others in a negative light so you would love to perform few professional activities looking at a hero or a side actor or or anybody else for that matter you you science movie if you are watching you may be motivated by somebody who's doing some medical research somebody who's working into uh, into aviation technology somebody using uh, computers in the movie or or some political leader in the community or or anything anything that is interest so what type of activity or when a movie is represented 100 characters always if your child is having an inclination to a particular field or a particular character or a business you can spot the talent or child's interest this is a very, very easy way of of concluding about child's interest it doesn't give you a career path directly but at least it shows you your inclination and this is not that does not require any extra effort and from these discussions next slide please from this discussion you may decide on five character attributes that are most important to you consider how might they relate to to your career choices in the future for example if the child says that i want to go abroad then your the, the career which are purely based in indian scenario if you want to be a political leader not a good time to migrate and then you make a career there you understand that so make five character attributes that would like to have to consider decision making about your career 30 minutes then decision making next to next slide please Yes, sir. We can hear you. Yeah.
so we are at the decision making so i was suggesting that, that the parents should allow the kids to take decisions so whatever falls in future whatever the repercussions are for the future so these implications whatever the decisions lead to the the flow on effects of the decision making can be studied together in a family so that kids start thinking in a rational manner outcome based rather than impulsive demands that a kid can make at times so kids will start thinking in terms of flow on effects of their own decision so make kids responsible right at smaller age so that they develop into a personality of a leader that's very very important encourage your child to think about different occupation as when you do a small or big household activities that's also is equally important somebody doing carpentry in the house somebody doing artistry in the house somebody doing culinary skills being developed in the house building the house itself or more interested in the vehicles in the house or mechanical parts in the house whatever doing they can hint at a possible development of a stream or a career Or, or entrepreneurship, or anything that that can come your way. Fourth activity, please. You can build a Lego city. Activity four: simple. To big a is big a Lego. there a house or an office you can think of shaping child's interest or giving additional information skill to to the child through the same stream activity 5 goes into the alphabetical order the next activity the child can simply parent and the child can simply jot down multiple careers which are available alphabetically if you can't do any other activity this is a good activity for a child a for accountant b for a butcher so now discuss with a small child that what an accountant has to do in the in, in his career he has to have good mathematics he should be able to solve a problem or he should be able to think logically for a butcher for example being polite being helpful he has to be good with using sharp knives and he has to be careful and clean not to injure himself during the profession so this is what goes well for a butcher so like that till z you will complete all professions possible known by the family okay next slide please the child starts to make decisions about work when she or he is It's very young, so it is important that you start planting the seeds very early. Early childhood is a time when childrens play help them to learn and grow. Just that's very very important. And last very bizarre activity it may seem, but I would like to suggest you here about the small kids is role playing. next next slide please dressing up you can gather the various types of clothing and gears available for various professions like a stethoscope like a computer like for example a gardener if you gather all this stuff and clothes belonging to various uh, work professions and child picks up whatever they want if a child is repeatedly picking up pen papers and files might as well become an office bearer or a teacher or a professor a child is repeatedly stuck to a computer they may have interest in the computer 
the child is always wanting to become a police or an army officer most probably they will be enforcing the law or protecting the country on the borders that's what you can conclude with i am not saying they will become that and prototype him and tomorrow on would start telling the child you are going to be this only no it just shows child inclination then it has to be processed it has to be studied it has to be discussed with child at every stage of their own professional uh, sorry academic journey next slide please watching tv shows and reading books whenever kids watch tv they need to watch something which is creative which gives them insight into different types of profession there are a lot of content available today so content has to be filtered content has to be little bit regulated for their age and for their interest and books there cannot be a bigger treasure than the book so there has to be a specific time away from the school an extra curricular activity and family activity when each child devotes every day few minutes behind pure core isolated reading that is a very very important activity for a kid today because books give them a total distraction free atmosphere to connect to a particular subject which author wants to teach them next and nothing resolves any problem like talking about likes and dislikes keep on talking keep on developing a, a, a definite field or keep keep them allow them to sail if the parent says that i like cooking dinner if the child said i like planting flower the mother says i like computer because child will at least think of three that's how as a family we decide together what child is wanting to do in future next slide please these baby steps can culminate into making of a star ward so you don't stereotype us particular child that he is going to be an architect he is more interested into this let's not decide let the child decide for own themselves okay and see the degree they make the degree that earn does not empower them to give results in the society all of us know that there are a lot of academic institution given good degrees today So i've been teaching kids for 22 years now and almost every convocation i give a lecture, lecture to them i say that the degree that the copy the paper that you have in your hand today is a receipt paid by of the money that is paid by your father but what you are going to make with your own life you're going to touch the skies with the knowledge skill and attitude that you are carrying from this degree so what is ultimately important that we we help the child we support the child to have knowledge to gather correct knowledge to develop necessary skill through that knowledge and to develop positive attitude even though they are not decided today what they are going to be but these three things they keep on gathering they'll oh, they, they'll find their own their own own finding they will be they'll find their own feet they'll they'll open their own channel and gateways to success for sure chhu lene do in nanne haathon ko chand sitare warna do char kitabe pad ke hamari tarah ho jayenge that should always be remembered do not judge your child by the number of marks today or the neighbor's child or a relative child every single child is unique and they always do good next slide please see what as a team we want to do for every single child's career is not child decision or the parents decision success or failure of a career does not cannot be attributed to the child only or parent only or them only it's about the individual it's about the family it's about the extended family it's about the neighborhood it's about the society we all of it work together to bring our next generation to much better platform and an elevated sophisticated society better place to live by providing children on one side by information guidance and support these are the fundamentals information and you expose the child to ample information that the child deserves just don't hammer them about a professor right from the childhood you are going to be this then guide them and if require support them so once they have ample information and guidance they would not need much of a support let them grow as an individual themselves and what you can advise don't make them handicapped by totally providing them complete assistance unnecessary advice and unnecessary help give them ample assistance ample advice ample help the child should always remember that it's his career or her career and they should be made to understand that is their decision so that if they succeed they know they are they are worth it they have not received success because of somebody else hard work or or influences 
and they know that and they have seen sufficient struggle to reach there and they know that they have not been unduly helped next slide please my little message to all the kids before i actually come to dentistry here is remember success is that you see in people's lives is just not not the whole picture it requires a lot of things so just the tip of the glacier you require a lot of hard work persistence you have to burn midnight oil you will be rejected at times you will have to make lot of sacrifices you will have to enhance the level of discipline that you have in life you have to tolerate a lot of criticism by your own people and people around you will have your own doubts people will doubt your credibility your intelligence your performance your ability your efficiency you will see you will face a lot of failures you will have to take a lot of risk but ultimately remember you will succeed so success will come after all this hardship remember hardly there will be a single jump from success to failure if it happens in your life it's best sometimes it can happen but remember it can any time be this picture can be reverses you can any time jump from a success to failure so be a sport your success should not get onto your head and you should not believe that i'm superior to everybody else around and if you fail at certain point in life never be dejected because a sports person knows that today i have lost it tomorrow i'm going to win it and if you are standing at the top of hello hello yes sir we can hear you we can hear you sir you may can please you hear continue me? yes sir we can we can hear you you may please continue sir yeah this is am i audible to you clearly sir hello yes, yes sir, sir you are audible. audible sir you are audible sir you are audible yeah all of you i guess need to be leaders everything that you do in your life whether managing a small business you're doing a you're doing a job or you're doing a, a small business of your own a big business of your own a job or managing a family you need to be a leader all of us should hone the leadership qualities in our child decision making follow on effects of the decision are very very important so if children are given small responsibilities for example locking the main door of the house in the night while you go to sleep why an adult only should do it you can keep a watch but give that responsibility to a child so they have become responsible that for own security all their life and that is how they become worried or concern about the security of the whole house that's how they, they they learn to do collective thinking collective thinking is important to be a leader to be an entrepreneur next slide please next slide please so ultimately 
my conclusion is there are there are thousands of professions okay i just read in a book about professions there are more than 22000 professions and future will bring daily basis new professions are added so if one has not decided it today no problem but one has to identify the corners in which those people are interested that's important don't get confused about which career to choose next slide please next slide rat race there are specific set of careers which are very common in our country in our people either you want to become an engineer or you want to become a doctor or everybody else wants to become an astronaut 90% of the kids if i ask them in the school they tell me they want to become a pilot so these are not the only professions you have to get out of the rat race and think out of the box future is going to be highly specified jobs the education policy is soon going to be changed our entrance exams are expected to be replaced by exit exams so we as a country are going to have a total revamp of our educational system the vision of our honorable prime minister is to develop 35 crore skilled people so skill will be very more, very very important so what niche area are you specializing in what role you can play in an industry or a society or a, or a business organization or an academic or research organization is more important so think out of the box think of small thing in which you can make something big so that the market is is a niche market a big market relatively and number of people seeking that market is less next please no thing is ever small we the right is thank you next slide please next slide now why study dentistry i will talk about dentistry in short because it's anyways not a very vast field but very very specified corner which directly imparts you a speciality if you join mbbs again you go in for a speciality if you join ayurveda in health sciences you again go in for a speciality whereas dentistry puts you on a track of speciality already the choice of dentistry as a career offers you a lot of prestige in the society relative autonomy you are the owner of your own practice own business so you are a doctor but you own a business you don't work for a corporate hospital you don't work for a government hospital you don't work for an ngo you are hardly dependent on other doctors so relative autonomy is there incomes are above average for most of the dentists very nice creative challenges are there because this is a creative field this is a performing art you can't sit with a table and a chair writing prescription and make money this is an executive branch you do execute operative procedures in the patient's mouth so the challenges are very creative and there is a definite opportunity to help others in a survey recently done in india 94% of the dental students answered that they entered the profession with a primary goal of helping the community helping others to increase the standard of their life or quality of life next slide please today awareness about the oral health has increased a lot earlier in indian scenario hardly 2% of the population was visiting the dentist now that percentage has escalated to almost 8 to 10% of population so still there is a lot of scope available for dental professional all over the world and outside india dental professional services are extremely expensive very very expensive and dental career is one of the most sought after careers in the us they say the, the people the richest community is football players dentists and the politicians that's what they say there so it's it's a very very lucrative profession next slide please one thing i would like to mention here is the gender balance here in dentistry is severely truncated because 85% of the students which are taking dental career are nowadays girls because they feel they can balance their personal and professional life being in dentistry there are no hardly any late night emergencies you work in office hours you can control your working hours and it's not always life threatening or having emergency so it's a good balance of health services doing operative procedures on patients and not having erratic work hours 
Next slide, please. The two degrees in India. One is BDS, Bachelor of Dental Surgery, and all those who do Bachelors of Dental Surgery further do Masters of Dental Surgery in a specific field. Okay, let me come to it. Both are recognized by Dental Council of India. There are approximately twenty-two to twenty-four thousand admissions in India every year. Next slide, please. So there are twenty to twenty-two thousand seats available for BDS, and for those kids, later once they complete their BDS, around five to six thousand MDS seats are available per year. So they specialize into various fields. Now after BDS, what do you do MDS in? There are nine branches of dentistry in which. You can specialize yourself. First branch, oral and maxillofacial surgery. So, in which you treat fractures of the jaw, cancers of the jaw, and lesions, other lesions of the jaw. You do surgical interventions. Okay, you are purely a surgeon operating flesh and blood, suturing, OT. That's your life mostly. Next branch, conservative dentistry and endodontics. You deal with filling, cosmetic work. See the broken teeth have been filled, or you deal with root canal therapy, which is most common dental treatment being done all over the world in today's life. Third branch is prosthodontics. These dentists deal in making dentures, replacing missing teeth, putting removable dentures, putting fixed dentures, fixed teeth, or doing implantology nowadays. Very common. Fourth branch is Pedodontics. There are separate dentists which deal only in the pediatric patients. They treat all the patients below 13 years of age. They don't touch the adults at all because children have special need and they are very anxious about what will go on in a chair. So they 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 are trained to talk to the kids, deal with the kids. Just a beautiful branch. They only have to deal with the small kids. Okay, they don't treat above 13 years of age. They do MDS in this field. Next, you can also become an oral radiologist and oral medicine oral medicine guy. meaning these people deal with oral cancer diagnosis diseases of the mouth diagnosis and they deal in radiology meaning they deal with the cbc ct scans x rays mris of the jaws next periodontics deal with gum disease only next orthodontic braces doctor all of you know that people have braces so they are a separate specialist after dentistry three years course for all these specialties next oral pathology and public health dentistry oral pathology deals in similarly a common pathology you see slides microscopically you examine the tissues and give diagnosis in a lab public health dentistry deals with public health dentistry deals with the community Community is their patient, so they find out how much incidence of the disease is there in the society and others. Okay, next. Admissions happen only through one exam, that is NEET, National Eligibility Come Entrance Test. The course is divided into five years. First year is BDS degree, undergraduate students. First to fourth. Okay, next slide. Fifth year is an internship program. First BDS they teach you anatomy, physiology, and biochemistry, meaning the shape of the human body, how it is made from inside and outside. Physiology means how human body actually works. How car looks is one thing that is anatomy. How car engine starts, how petrol flows, how electrical current flows, how the light of the car works is physiology. And biochemistry is what happens in this processes at chemical level. That is biochemistry. Second BDS next. you are taught about general pathology microbiology drug side effects their effects introduction to dental materials and pre clinical level you see the the medicines are taught to you and those small statues on which they are working those students you are actually taught to work on the phantom head unit on a on a on a dummy tooth you work in a dummy patient okay for one whole year in the second year go ahead next slide please third video is you start learning about general medicine and general surgery like a mbbs people and you directly start treating patients in the clinics next and in final year 
you actually learn all dental subjects you learn braces specialty you learn oral surgery you learn pediatric dentistry you learn orthodontic break or you learn periodontic gum disease you learn root canals you learn fillings and finally after passing your final year you come to one in your internship program where in general you study everything and don't study don't go to the lecture you directly come to study to treat only the patient for one whole work year take 65 days you continuously keep treating patients only to enhance your operatory skill on the patients next now what do you do after 5 years of bds either you can jo join best ways to start your own practice or else work with in a group practice with somebody in partnerships or else some people join some institute teaching institute or government jobs or ngos or trusts and some people even deviate into mba hospital management public health they go into upsc mpsc or they start their own businesses or they become entrepreneurs in dentistry another developing career option in dental in recent time is dental blogging dental youtuber and dental tourism also is very very common because for example a patient requiring a root canal in the us may require approximately 80000 to 150000 in indian currency if you require five root canals you have to shell out at least five 10 lakh rupees there you come back to india you do all your treatment within 50000 to 1 lakh go back saving at least five to 10 lakh rupees so a lot of dental tourism patients are coming into india and other countries from the countries where which is very, very where there is very expensive next slide please master of dental dentistry you can do after your rotary internship is over and you register yourself as a bds doctor then you give neat exam after new neat you appear for your counseling and you get whatever specialty you belong or whatever your marks permit you so there is three years course in various specialty that i described nine specialties okay that's what the structure of the course here is after that you can do phd in dentistry also through various universities and from after you do bds from india you will have to go to if you want to go to foreign countries each country offers each continent and country has different rules and regulations for example you want to go to australia you have to adc exam uk you have to do ore exam for canada and new zealand ndb is the eb is the exam so different different and for usa you have to do ined exam so different different number of qualification exams are required to be done next slide please and countries other countries like uae you have a qualifying exam there for australia after your bds you have to be general practitioner you have to pass your toefl and four written exam papers will be there then will be a practical examination then you will can attain australian accreditation from there you can apply for mds from there okay or else from after bds you can directly into enroll into an mds program next slide please new zealand as i described ndeb exam is a mandatory thing there okay next i'll sum it up i think my timeline is is already crossed next slide please so in india and other country as i said singapore malaysia middle east you have to pass a licensing exam in germany you have to pass a language exam those are the requirements criteria next slide please if you have done your bds anywhere other than india you have to come for example lot of people are going to mauritius nowadays russia lot of people go there in ukraine for their bds after coming back the dental council of india you will conduct a separate examination for you and allow you to practice and register you here okay <coughs> and opening up a practice requires after your bds substantial investment in the country nowadays real estate cost in a country is very high so that is one investment second investment in equipments but luckily in last 5 years because of the technological advancement and increased manufacturing facilities the cost of the equipments has relatively come down so people are affording to open up 
small good practices for themselves and doing really well as a lot of people have an opinion that dentistry has reached a succession point in the country to a certain extent it cannot be denied but still owing to our large population there is enormous scope for the dental professionals but they need to keep some patients initially 3 to 5 years till the time they establish their name and role in the society the long term results are very fruitful very satisfying gratifying and financially there is a good return and i with this much i conclude my talk for today and i offer my apology to all the parents and the organizers to keep you waiting for a, quite some time because of certain glitches at my end thank you so much i am honored to talk to all of you here thank you so much bye that was an extraordinary and inspiring session by you sir your creative and fun filled session enlightened us kept each one of us engaged now we would like to request our speaker dr said abrar to kindly answer a few queries put forth by the audience may i invite the moderator of the session mr shaiju augustine to post some questions from the audience to you over to you sir good morning sir thank you so much sir it was a wonderful session indeed uh, even though we faced some uh, network issues initially it was a wonderful session we must say that the session was highly informative educative and also inspiring for the parents and students who are actually looking for different career options sir we have received different questions from uh, the students and parents watching this program in different online platforms and sir we have shortlisted a few of them here to ask you so first of all you said that nobody is born with a career written on their forehead and also the best time to make a decision about the career is any time okay sir uh, then one confusion is like there are some students who are actually getting inclined to a particular profession they may actually stick on to that they may get obsessed with it and maybe uh, sometimes it could be their personal uh, like uh, personal liking only sometimes it can be an imposed uh, decision also and then they will actually stick on to that particular thing alone and then they may actually try to find more information about that alone and then at the end of the day when they actually get into that profession they may actually find it to be not suitable for them okay so how can they be like very uh, sure about uh, their decision how can they prove that uh, how can they actually make sure that it is uh, quite okay for them because when you were explaining this particular aspect we couldn't actually uh, hear it properly times okay okay thank you so much for the question the the point here is uh, it is making a decision about the career is a journey kids are inspired by a lot of things that their inherent nature kids are brilliant they are much more intelligent than what we are nature wants them to learn and grasp a lot of things suddenly something inspire them gets onto their head similarly same things cannot inspire people of your and my age and actually it's a bubble but that's a nascent idea which nature has put in the child's mind and they're obsessed about it and certain things fuel it and there is a reverse psychology also if the parents say are ye kya hai this is not a good field i don't find this is good this is not sustainable this doesn't feed you so this will not feed your family they are absolutely correct because they have seen the world the child has not this is child liking so now what should happen here as i said the nine activities which i suggested you can have a sustained dialogue with the child support child's thought process right now allow child to proceed in some conditional scenarios ask the child the end effects of this how you set goals how are your see the child has to set a goal there has to be an aim there will be certain objectives to reach that aim so ask the child how are you going to do this show me the road map let's prepare a road map you have to first of all adopt child's idea yes or i actually let's let's see oh this is a good idea let's try to make sense out of all this and let's map and set up a goals in first place if child says i want to be a child photographer in india parent says child photographer in india means who's who's employing them the parent is on a boil oh my god he is goes to jungle he won't have clothes to wear what is he going to feed the family how how they are going to be sustainable no not possible but let's find out are there real opportunities in this field and secondly if somebody is 
having uh, inclination to, for example, BDS. That doesn't only mean that he's going to be a dental practitioner. He can own a dental college tomorrow. That person in dentistry can become one of the top entrepreneurs in dentistry. He can fight election of the Indian Dental Association and become president of the Indian Dental Association. If they're more interested into rules and regulations and an academic journey, they can become the best scientists and clinical researchers in dentistry. We can come out in back vaccine against dental caries. If they are more into policy making, they can become president of Dental Council of India or a member or executive committee member. They can be anything. They can be dental blogger. That's it. Nothing. They can do nothing. They can sit with a mobile phone in the house making money more than everybody else around. So what is important here? Knowledge, skill and attitude. If your child is developing these through three times. See, passions are good, but they may be unrealistic. You can't live in a bubble. So child may be in a bubble, may not realize that they are in a bubble. So what is the role of a parent here to have a good dialogue? Don't outrightly reject child's mind because it's a nature that implants that idea in their minds. Nature wants that maybe that is nature's plan for the next generation to bring it. Some kids must have thought of bringing internet. But a lot of parents must have made a fool out of them. Somebody might have tried to make some big discovery. But some, some kid must have said, Father, I want to go to the moon. So many generations must have laughed on those children, those said. But some generation made it possible, right? So we are a very small, minuscule part of the entire universe here. So whatever comes to a child's mind may be a dream, may be a wild idea, may be a very wrong idea. But let's not outrightly reject. But that will set their confidence back. That I am wrong somewhere. So everybody, my own people criticizing. See, today, if you have succeeded, today, today I'm feeling so fortunate, but I'm talking to my people in, in Oman. There are thousands of people there, right? So I'm so happy. But where am I going to show this happiness? Only to my father, my mother, my wife, my kids, right? If they feel that, oh my God, my son has done well, he spoke to so many people. So what child need appreciation only from two people initially, almost all your life, from the parents. So it's open dialogue is very important. And journey together. And kids also, because see, there is a methodology we need to be taught to them. Even if they want to start a business, there has to be aims, objective, methodology to achieve. So approach has to be not emotional. If you want to start a big business, don't say, I don't have money for it. Don't start. Okay, beta, tell me what is a business plan? And where will you arrange? Where shall we arrange the funds from? Then child will say, okay, Papa, the idea is good, but still I think so. I don't think it's feasible to work it out. We'll think of something else. The child fully will tell you. So don't outrightly reject. Have a correct dialogue with the child. I hope I answered the question. Okay, thank you, sir. Actually, uh, this answer is really helpful for all the parents. In fact, okay, because like actually you have told uh, what exactly sir all of the parents in uh, okay, really helping the child in that respect. And sir, like actually you told about the different positives of this industry uh, profession, uh, the different aspects that may actually uh, be very. Uh, like uh, positive in that aspect okay and sir you talked about the relative autonomy such uh, different positives and sir we would like to know what really inspired you to become like a, uh, you to pursue a career in the industry see uh, my i had a fall in eighth standard i had a fall which totally smashed my face i broke my front two teeth from there i became a dental patient I developed an, a deep abscess in the bone for which I was operated by a dentist. So dental profession overall was known to me. And when I got a choice to take up MBBS paid seat and I was getting a government merit seat in the BDS and Ayurveda also, I had a lot of doctors in fam family already, but no dentist. What I used to see that late night emergencies, okay, was a norm. A lot of mental stress. This profession is very light beautiful, artistically based. And this is a combination of technology, mechanics, art, science, reasoning, logic, a lot of things depend on your communication skill. So this is an all round profession, which makes me happy, which, which may make me think that I need to stick around with this profession. So I loved it. I entered it and I'm happy about it because once you enter, Rather than repenting, you have to see what lies ahead next. If your life throws two different opportunities at you, you have to be market smart to pick up a correct option because it's ultimately the market. It's ultimately the society which will decide the success and the failure. If you are holding an area which is going to be totally out of business, see, one single mobile phone came into the market 
it threw so many professions out of field. I still remember when I was a BDS dental student, I used to queue up in front of the STD booths to dial a phone call to my parents. Two two hours was the waiting time. I had to write my number and wait outside the uh, the STD booth PCO to make a phone call to another city. So they were the people who were making money five five booths, ten four booths in a single shop. Mobile came in within two years. All of them vanished. So there are certain professions which come sudden demand. Certain professions will go out of demand suddenly. All watchmakers are gone today. Watch companies also are reducing day by day. Mobiles have replaced so many things. Cameras are not being purchased to that extent. Everybody has become a photographer with the mobile. So similarly, YouTubers never existed. Social media influencers never existed. Only the hero heroines and the big people used to uh, do canvassing and brand brand ambassadoring. Today, rather than hiring a big star, people companies are hiring YouTube influencers. So one has to be market smart. What where is the trend going? And get onto that plane. Get onto that that bus or don't. Don't enter into a bus or train which is going down the street. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much for the insightful answers. Pleasure, sir. Uh, now we are winding up the question and answer session. Uh, let us move on to the next uh, thing. Thank you so much. So, to the MCs. Thank you. Thank you, thank sir. You, thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone. Thank you, sir, for all your support and guidance given to the large audience by attending to their concerns so patiently during the course of discussion. Under the auspicious regime of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Saeed, the Sultanate of Oman reaches the zenith of its glory of the Renaissance through a rapid transformation of its civic life. The growth of higher education in the country has manifested through the establishment of a number of institutions since 1980. Having realized the social responsibility in transforming the quality of human capital, three well-known industrialists and the founders of Gulfar Engineering and Contracting Company, Sheikh Salem al fan al Aremi, Dr. P. Muhammad Ali, and the late Muhammad Rashid al fan al Aremi, established the first private engineering college in 1996 and the first private medical college in 2001.
Both institutions imparted high quality pedagogy and training and very soon became the centers of excellence in engineering, medicine and pharmacy. The Caledonian College of Engineering was the first private engineering college in the country to be accredited by the Oman Academic Accreditation Authority. Internationally renowned accreditation agencies like IET UK and CIOB UK have adjudged the quality of all the engineering programs in addition to the institutional compliance with Abbott USA. The graduates of these institutions are preferred by most of the employers. In 2018, the government accorded permission to these institutions to become a full-fledged university by merging of three faculties of medicine, pharmacy, and engineering. It gave birth to the National University of Science and Technology. Under the patronage of His Highness Sayyid Asad bin Tariq Al Said, Deputy Prime Minister for International Relations and Cooperation Affairs, personal representative of His Majesty the Sultan, the university was dedicated to the nation on the 3rd of December 2018. The National University has a proactive board of directors and internationally reputable personalities on the board of trustees. The National University is a multi-campus university with four campuses across the country. The state-of-the-art facilities for laboratories, workshop, postgraduate studies, research stations, IT support, and library make the learning experience in the College of Engineering unique. The fully equipped laboratories and the state-of-the-art anatomy dissection center and the highly qualified faculty keeps the training at the College of Medicine highly professional. The School of Foundation prepares the students for higher learning in the NU colleges. The College of Pharmacy provides academic instructions and undertakes professional research in the discipline of pharmacy. Students at the NU campuses have ample opportunities to develop their latent talents. Provisions for hostels, recreation, hangout centers, off-classroom learning experience, artistic expression, and self-directed learning are common features across the campuses. The National University has a set of premier higher education institutions for academic affiliation. The Caledonian Glasgow University in the UK, the South Carolina University in the USA, and the West Virginia University in the USA have active participation in ensuring high quality education in the NU institutions. The governance of the National University is committed to ensure uninterrupted growth for facilitating a symmetric transformation of the human capital in the country. The National University has an impressive legacy of producing more than 8,000 graduates in pharmacy, medicine, and engineering. The university deploys a strategic plan to grow bigger, bolder, and better with a pathway of innovation and creativity. Its vision and mission are built up on the dream of igniting the young mind for widening horizons. The National University, building Oman's human capital. The university spokesperson from the National University of Science and Technology, Oman, has enjoined due to an unavoidable situation. We have just watched a video of the National University of Science and Technology, Oman. As we draw the end of this enriching session, I deem it my great privilege to propose the vote of thanks. We extend our heartfelt thanks to our eminent speaker, Dr. Saeed Abrar, for all his words of motivation. Thank you, sir. Our deepest sense of appreciation and gratitude to Chairman Dr. Sivakumar Manikam and the members on the Board of Directors, Indian Schools in Oman. Our heartfelt thanks to the President, Mr. Ajayin Poyara, and members of the Indian School Bausch's School Management Committee and the Principal of the School, Dr. Bhavesh Bhalirao. We request the participants to kindly fill in the feedback form posted in the chat window. Heartfelt thanks to our platinum sponsor, Jane Deem to be University, Gold Sponsor, De Montfort, Silver Sponsors, The Last Baptist University, USA, Grey Matters, SP Jane School of Global Management, Sri Ramachandra Institute of Higher Education 
and research and brand sponsors Middle East College and SP Jain School of Global Management digital marketing partner Spectrum and Trifoil media partner the Arabian Stories and other valued sponsors now let us watch a video of our valued sponsors An event of this kind requires the coordination of a committed team. Thank you to the ISB team for making Avenue 2022 possible. Thank you to each and every student, teacher and parent for being a part of this session. Finding your passion is the key to your success. With these uplifting words, I Aisha Mehran. And I Richa Ajija. Wish you all a glorious day ahead. Before we sign off, let me remind you of the upcoming sessions. The upcoming sessions scheduled for today, 16th October 2022. Online sessions will begin from 4.30 p.m. onwards. A gentle reminder for filling the feed feedback form. You can provide your feedback on the Avenir website, www.avenueoman.com. Every attendee who submits the feedback form will receive a digital certificate. See you in the next session.